All right, guys. So there's no real YouTube or um, nothing in the freaking history of Google that tells me what the hell this is. Now, on other printers, it suggests certain things. So here I am. I have fully pulled out toner, waste tank, diffuser, the other fuser. I do see that this fuser has a whole bunch of dirt or uh, toner as well as real bad um, buildup of toner here, which explains why it yanks off, but it does not explain this scenario here. However, if it is fuser issues, because the fuser is not reaching the temperature. I even yanked off my nails to be able to dig in this thing. But anyway, if it's nothing wrong with the fuser, which I'm going to clean all this up. Um, I'm thinking temperature because it's freezing in my shed. And this thing has to go from zero to super hot within the time it clicks on and goes to print so my setting in this place as come the lovely issues with those i'm now probably having an issue with this and since today's mlk day guess what i have to patiently wait but i've been dealing with this issue now for some time and i don't want to wait anymore i need to figure this crap out so guys Follow me in my new journey of white toner printer issues, as well as I will continue to vlog my sublimation. But, on top of that, my press went out while I was doing a video to compare the Hotronics to this brand in marrying the two-step process paper. So guys, it's been a pretty rough week. Pray for me. I ordered some pieces to try to give this thing more life, but most importantly, if I can get this back on the road, then financial issues won't be a problem. Decided to take the fuser apart. All right, so I got it open and check it out. However, I do believe the paper did damage, but we'll see. All right, y'all, after removing these screws these screws, these screws, these screws, the ones in the bottom and the ones on the inside. I finally was able to get paper that was fused onto the fusing unit. There is damage on the unit, but I had the exacto knife. Um, to slice it and pull half a sheet at a time as it created a whole bunch. I'm going to go back in and place this in to the printer and see what's happening. Alright, so this was what I already had because there was something on the blade, so I or on the fuser. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off. And as soon as it cuts off, we are going to press the home and the suspend button together and then power on the system. As soon as this does its thing. 
Now, mind you guys, there is nothing on the internet for what I just went through. I literally just started taking out bolts all the way down until I got to the source. Um, I thought I'd be able to pull it if I just took out the main black cap. That wasn't the case. So, I literally had to get in there. It did, again tear the plastic or the teflon that it had on there so i don't think i can still use it but if you catch it before you continue to run it then there's no issues now i'm going to press the buttons i need and turn on the printer uh, i don't know how to hold you guys pressing the home buttons turning it on Guys, I've been at this since 4 o'clock this morning. All right. All right, let's turn it off. Turn it back on. Yes, yo. Now he said I might get the cold a couple of times and I just repeat that process. But I'm going to print something and see where it gets me.